Our next speaker tonight is a musician, coffee, and long reads enthusiast. She is a community investment associate at the Ann Arbor Area Community Foundation, where she manages the arts and culture focused grant making and thinks daily about ways we can make our community better for all of its residents. Please welcome Katie Van Dusen. Hello, everybody. Okay, how many people here know what a foundation is? Roughly, kind of, you've heard the Ford, the Gates, the big names. Lots of money, supposedly making the world a better place. A little fuzzy on the details, a little suspicious sometimes about what's actually going on there. Got some questions. Um, but how about a community foundation? Who's heard of a community foundation? Okay, slightly less, typical. Um, what's really cool about a community foundation is that we work for you. And unlike the big philanthropy at large, we have uh, more that we can tell you about what we're doing for you on a daily basis in your community. Our mission is pretty broad. It's to improve the quality of life in Washtenaw County. Lots of different ways that you can do that. Um, but there are a couple of things that we think are really, really important in making Washtenaw County as great as it can possibly be. Arts and culture is one of those things. Arts and culture is community. It's the thing that connects us to one another. It's how we find our inner sense of purpose in ourselves. And we live in a really wonderful place to access a lot of amazing arts and culture programming. Also, arts and culture is really important to fund our, and fuel our local economy. We found out that $100 million annually is pumped into our local economy from the arts and culture sector. That's more than football, but who's counting? So, you know, pretty cool. Awesome. Also, we realized that we are a community foundation, but we defined community pretty narrowly in terms of who we were good at talking to. Lots of other institutions, nonprofits, government. But what about people? What about the people who are seeking the services that we're supporting through our grants? We realized that we wanted to get better at talking to people in our community. We had to find who they were, where they were, figure out how best to communicate and go to them, and then also tell them what we're going to provide to them as a result of asking for their contributions in our work. One of the ways that we did this was something that we called In the Neighborhood. And this was an arts and culture based community voice initiative. We had six different neighborhoods, and neighborhood was defined pretty broadly. It could be a geographic place, or it could be a shared vocation or identity. You can see the six that we chose there. In each one of these talks, we had uh, two community navigators, people who could leverage their network to invite people to participate and come together to talk about arts and culture in our community. We also had an artist present because art is important and we wanted to show the value that we have in the arts in our community. They led everyone through a community-based art making approach and we asked three questions at each one of these gatherings that we wanted folks to answer together. We found a lot of really interesting um, contributions from folks when we were talking to them about what they're looking for in their community. In Washtenaw, we serve really well certain people who are looking for particular things from, from arts and culture, particularly if you're a white middle class person who's affiliated with the university. There is a bevy of really amazing content for you in this community, but there's so much else going on in Washtenaw County that we wanted to hear about and make sure we were well positioned to support. So we talked with many people in these neighborhoods about what they were looking for, what they thought was missing, and what could be supported better. We heard a lot about taking risk. We heard a lot about people want to experience things that are in non-traditional arts and culture spaces. I want to walk down the street and happen upon something. I don't want to have to walk into a museum. I don't want to have to go into a concert hall necessarily to access what I want to see. We had an amazing graphic artist who captured a lot of what we heard in these talks. You're able to see some of her work here. I know it's a lot to see at once. It's all on our website. You can go and spend lots of loving hours, as I have, going over all of these uh, illustrations, if that sounds like fun to you. Believe me, it is. Um, and we thought about, OK, what does this offer to us about what we've learned? What is our mandate now, now that we've had a chance to hear from community members what they're looking for? How are we going to change what we're doing to meet the needs of the people in our community. So, as of today, officially launched this morning, is a grant program called In Our Neighborhood. And that seeks to support uh, arts and culture nonprofits or artists or culture makers or a neighborhood organization. You can find a 501c3 sponsor. And we are funding to support these two uh, strategies that you see on the screen. We know that everybody has an arts and culture identity within themselves that they're waiting for the right program to activate. And we know that people want to have a fundamental level of access. In Our Neighborhood seeks to provide that for people in our community. 
we have, we're going to be awarding three to four awards of up to $30,000, which is significantly more than we've had available before. And we're really excited to see what comes out in terms of the great ideas and the great things that we know are happening in our community. Find me at the break to talk more about it if you're interested. I really want to see what people have to, to offer for us and to see this community thrive through the amazing vehicle of arts and culture. Thanks so much. Thanks, Katie.